What's up everybody, the germ here. I got the day off today, Saturday. Very rare, rare day off for the germ. And uh, I figured, you know, I got some other stuff to do. I gotta, you know, do normal everyday stuff like mail stuff and go to the dry cleaner. But I figured I'd stop in some thrift stores and see what we can find today. And uh, I already stopped in one and got, uh, I love movies. I love physical movies, physical media. I don't have any, I don't have any Netflix or Disney Plus or whatever any other other ones that exist i buy movies i go to the thrift stores they're generally just a buck so i get a pretty good deal and once in a while i'll find a good movie and today i found two good movies so here is one of the two movies i found and uh i believe it or not i don't <laughs> i'm sure someone's gonna have to, something to say in the comments uh section below but uh three amigos i've never seen the three amigos um who's in this steve barton this has got to be hilarious chevy chase and Martin Short, three absolutely hilarious actors. Uh, so this looks funny, I can't wait to see this. So we got that, and back in the 80s, man, one of my favorite actors back in the 80s, funniest actor, I can't say funniest, but one of the funniest few actors that I like, I'm trying to phrase that right, Eddie Murphy, another 48 hours, man. This thing's brand new, sealed, holy crap. I never see this thing. I got a 48 hour, I got 48 hours, and now I got another 48 hours, so this is cool. So this is my first stop, and uh, we got two movies, paid two bucks plus tax, so dollar each for a brand new DVD. Heck yeah, this is awesome. I don't know if this one's gonna be open yet. It's 10 o'clock, you would think it would be open. This is this little plaza, it's called the Oak Ridge Plaza, and I don't think she's open yet. They have a uh, bottle redemption center in here. And we'll just swing by the front and see if she's open. Topsy turvy, Reina, she's awesome. They are closed. I don't know what their hours are. Let's see, Saturday, 10 o'clock. She's late. <laughs> this place is cool. And uh, yeah, they just opened up, so let's go inside. Yeah, oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Let's see if they got anything cool in here. all the toy section over here sometimes they get some cool stuff oh is this one of those boggles is this a boggle i don't think it is i don't know what that is looks like a boggle How much are the uh, movies? I always forget what you guys, are they a dollar? So movies here are a little bit more expensive, $2 a movie, but you know, I haven't been in here in a while, so. All right, so movies here, two bucks. I haven't been here in a while. Car wash, I have this, I have, this is a funny movie. I have this in a three movie set. Super size me, love more Morgan Sporlock. Awesome documentary. Michael Moore. I'm hit or miss with Michael Moore. I don't know how to take him. I like his movies, but I think he exaggerates. That's a good game right there. Love Metal Slug. Wish it was complete. That's crazy. So no luck there. They had a copy of Metal Slug disc only for the Sega Saturn. That looked pretty cool. Um, but I had to look it up. I wanted to double check because I always forget. Um, and I was pretty sure it was. The uh, Saturn is region locked which means that a Japanese version of the game won't play on a U.S. console. So a lot of game systems have gotten rid of region locks now. So like, for example, if you buy a Nintendo Switch and you go to Japan, 
let's say you have a US Nintendo Switch that you bought at Target in uh, Poughkeepsie, New York, well, like somewhere pl place up, okay? Um, you can go to Japan and go to the shelf and pick up a Japanese game and play it in your Nintendo Switch. It wasn't always like that. You couldn't do that back in the day. So if you went to Japan and you had a uh, Sega Saturn and you bought a disc in Japan and you had a US console, it would not recognize that disc. So kind of kind of sucked back in the day. I don't know why they did that, but it is what it is. So I love Metal Slug. That is such an awesome game. It's a shoot 'em up. Look it up if you guys are interested in uh, video games at all. Uh, I go to this one place, it's called um, Happy Valley in Beacon, New York, and they have a SNK arcade game, and I play there, I could play on that, I could play on it probably for about 15 minutes, <laughs> because it gets very frustrating, if I had it at home, I'd probably play on it longer, it just gets, it's a, it's a quarter muncher, it takes a lot of quarters, so playing it at home would be a lot of fun, but yeah, let's go off to the next store, I gotta go to the post office next, and then we'll go off to the next store thought this would be kind of cool to show when I was a kid I actually lived right here not in that particular building but I lived in that apartment complex we gotta go to the post office next and mail a bill that's right still mail bills <laughs> I know old school all right bye post office <laughs> I did that in a, a video, I think a week ago, we were behind the post office at the cemetery. Pretty cool post office, old, and green light. There's like no traffic on a Saturday. I never have Saturdays off, and of course, there's nothing going on today. There's like, usually a farmer's market over here. Town hall's being expanded, that's like big news, but you guys don't care. <laughs> All right, dry cleaners next, and then I think there might be one more thirst star. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do after the dry cleaner. Uh, what am I thinking? This is a two for one. I forgot the dry, why am I th thinking the dry cleaner and the uh, thrift store right next to each other. Now this store here, this guy, he's always busy, good guy. This used to be a video store. It used to be called Video Treats local video store chain but love this store get many good finds in here all right this is eric eric the notorious eric you have a great store thank you i shop here very often and you said what do i do every time i come in here oh he reorganizes the video <laughs> games for me he's very helpful i haven't got one paycheck yet he's like a volunteer yeah <laughs> no pay and this <laughs> is not like a donation store this is like an actual thrift store what made you get into this by the way uh, I didn't want to commute to the city anymore. Yeah, you were working in the city, wearing a Boston hat, yeah. working in New York City. Did you, you wear that yeah. hat in New York City? Yeah, I was in finance. I would wear it in the city, yeah. Would you? You're a yeah. brave man. Yeah, why not? Are there any new games? No. Ah, oh. Is there a big sale today? Black Friday sale? For Always. Saturday? All right, everything's 50% 50, 50 off? Or? Whatever you need, Sean. Oh, whatever I need. You hear that, guys? I'm special. Oh, sealed copy of Burger King Pocket Racer. This is such a rare game. Oh. You know, these were given away for free at Burger King. Yeah. <laughs> you, get, you get some good games. Did you get rid of all the $30 Xbox games? No, they're all up there. Oh, man. I'll give you 50% of them. Good show. Never made a good game. No. Some, what about the uh do. yeah what about the uh did you get rid of all those good super nintendo games no, you stole you didn't ebay them yet oh see you lied to me you told me that you told me that you didn't get anything new see this is what i do every time i come in here look at this i really messed this up like it's so simple like right gotcha all right cool i'm gonna check check them out like how how does somebody mess? i don't get it every every time i come in and I feel like I need to fix this. This is like more organized than my game room. Well, this is about as organized as it gets here. <laughs> this is pretty cool. He's got pretty good games here. He's got uh, some PSP games. You don't see these a lot out in stores. Unfortunately, the sports games don't do too well. But Hot Shots Golf, I'm not into it, but I've heard good things about it. And look at this. Look at this selection. All Super Nintendo games. NES games. We got the Xbox games up here. We got the PlayStation games down here. Small Wii section. 
which is incredible. It used to be huge. And look at this. He's even got a Sega CD game. Unbelievable. Good selection. Oh, uh, look at the... This yeah, is... Picked all that up. Dude. I don't know anything about it. This is all brand new stuff. Yeah. You get the Menacer. You, so, do you know what the Menacer is? No. You remember this, okay. the Super Scope? No. no? Super Nintendo Super Scope was like the big gun. You need the gun. You need the gun for this. No, I don't have the gun. No. No, because I want one in a box. And he, he found out how I look up games. So... <laughs> Fantasy video. Oh, it's got a phone number on it. This is cool. It's got all the cases. Mando. Road Blaster. This is from like a rental store. Wrestling. So are these like from an auction or Dick Tracy? Wrestling. Pac-Man. Marvel Madness. Good games. Commons, but good. These will sell. Glove ball. That's So there's someone who had this had probably had the power glove. Do you remember the power loop? No. He's an Atari guy, guys. Yeah. Roger Rabbit. Atari and a little bit of Intellivision. Yeah. And then Coleco, and then I was done. That was it. So. Double Dragon. Um, Ghost, oh, this game's bad. <laughs> Mad Max, oh, that's cool. What a cool cover. I don't know why I don't have that. We're going to have to look these up. <clears throat> World Games. Uh, cool. I would get, what do we got? Random. Are these going to be video games? Oh, Tiger Woods. That's awful. What's in here? Gettysburg. Bad games. Bad. Might, as well, might as well toss these. <laughs> They'll never sell. All right. These are the high end games that he got a couple weeks ago. So there's some good ones in here. Family Guy. Never played that. 3D Dot Hero. I was looking for this forever. It's an expensive game. Mario Kart. I had so many copies of this. I think I have 30 copies of that. Let's see. Did he sell the one that I wanted? Oh, uh, he sold it. Nope, it's still there. I want this one. But I don't want to pay 30 bucks. What? <laughs> what do you want to pay? 20 uh, bucks? I'd pay 20 bucks for it. All right. Beautiful. See it? Look at that. Made a deal. All right. We got to go look at these other games, though. These are the super expensive games, all right? <laughs> well, the bad, bad one to start out with, NBA Jam. Tech Mobile. Did you sell any of these? This was the expensive one. $15. All right. So, Sim Ant, right? Yeah. You've had these for a while. I'm surprised you didn't list them on eBay yet. I can't believe you didn't sell this. Looney Tunes B Bowl. Seventy-five dollars. Uh, why? Why did Best Buy put a sticker on that? That's weird. I have like five. five yeah. You don't have one with Best Buy. No, you have Lethal Enforcers, but you don't have the gun. You have it. I, I do have the gun. Yeah. <laughs> I also have the game for Sega Genesis. Super Mario Brothers Two, worst Mario Brothers game ever. It is. <laughs> Leaving the video treats. <laughs> I'll forever call it video treats. Dude, three awesome finds. Got Mad Max for the NES, combat cars for the Sega Genesis, and I got Saw. He uh, gave me a really good deal on Saw. I just didn't have the money the last couple weeks to buy some games. So, um, Mad Max, I don't know, it looked pretty bad. <laughs> I bought it anyway. $5. This right here reminds me of one of my favorite games for the NES, which is uh, RC Pro-Am. It's called Combat Cars. The cover art looks much better than the game. <laughs> but this is always the way it went, um, as far as that goes. Um, yeah, it reminds me of RC Pro-Am. It's basically you driving around, overhead view, uh, and shooting cars. Although the video that I watched on it, the guy wasn't shooting anybody and just coming in first. And then saw which uh i've been looking at he's had it there for a few weeks now he had 30 bucks on it i really wanted it but i didn't want to spend 30 bucks he said you want it for 20 i said i'll take it for 20 so 20 bucks for saw um this looks like a really really cool xbox 360 game he also had the simpsons for the xbox 360 i already have it but uh yeah i bought this that looks awesome so pretty cool find so come check out this if you're ever in hyde park hyde park at simon's 
Eric's a really good guy. They got a really good staff there. And uh, there's always a lot of good finds. And if you're looking for video games, he's got a, he's got literally hands down the best selection that I've ever seen in a video game. So definitely worth checking his uh, inventory out if you're in this area. Next stop is McDonald's. Got to get my morning coffee for a buck. So we're going to do that right now. Nice, easy peasy. Do you want the hot coffee or the iced coffee? The hot coffee, please. Seven creams and three sugars. All right. Is there anything else I can get for you? That is going to do it for me. All right. Your total is going to be 107, please. Thank 107. You. you got it. Thank you very much. All right. Dollar seven for my hot coffee. And I got a gift card that I bought for myself. I'll explain that in a minute. <laughs> They're always so nice here. We were talking about Thanksgiving. They asked me about my Thanksgiving. Very nice crew here. And uh, the the gift card thing, I um, actually buy my gift cards at Target. Yep, you got it. Thank you very much. I knew that was going to happen. I knew as soon as I started telling you guys <laughs> about that, that uh, they would hand me my coffee. Yeah, I, I actually buy my um, McDonald gift cards at Target because what I'll do is I'll buy, usually they, they sell those gift cards in like, I think they're $25 increments. So what I'll do is I'll buy uh, four gift cards. So I'll buy a hundred dollars worth of gift cards because I know I'm going to use them anyway. And they last me about 90 days because all I do is I go buy a coffee. Coffee's a dollar plus the tax generally gets me through, um, through three month period. And then um, what Target does, Target gets me gives me rewards on the. I think they give me rewards on the gift card. I'm not I'm not positive on that one. But right now my Discover card gives me five percent back when I spend money at Target. So by buying a hundred dollar gift cards, I get five dollars back from uh, Discover card. And since I pay off my card every month, there's no interest. So I kind of make out on the deal. Very small amount, but hey, you know what's something. And I'm already getting a deal on the coffee because the coffee is $1.89. I use the app, gets me for 99 cents plus tax, get $5 back from Discover Card for spending 100 bucks. And then if there are Target rewards, I get that back too. So it kind of works pretty good. It's like a full circle. <laughs> we are now at the uh, edge of Hyde Park. I'm leaving Hyde Park and I'm not sure where I'm off to. But uh, we're, I guess I'll find out. You guys will find out. I don't know if I'm going to go to any more thrift stores or not. Uh, there is a Goodwill on our journey. Uh, I don't know if I should waste my time even going there. I never find anything at Goodwill anymore. It's kind of a, a joke at this point. Going over the Mid-Hudson Bridge. I got to go to the bank. And I want to go into a thrift store. I thought about it. I'm going to go a different direction than to the place that I thought that I was going to go to. And... I figured we go this direction, go over this beautiful bridge, and I thought of another thrift store that I've never been in, and uh, I kind of want to check out, I'm interested. So we're gonna go that direction. Mid-Hudson Bridge, such a beautiful bridge. This thing's awesome. It's uh, overdue for a replacement though. I mean, we don't want to replace our bridge, but I think we need a second span because there's so much traffic on this during rush hour it's so bad you have to like wait in line going the other direction going i'm going to highland right now and going over to back home towards poughkeepsie if i'm over there at rush hour it is a disaster it's so bad and uh yeah and someone's already pulled over because speed limit's only 25 <laughs> so i'm gonna put my phone away so the next door i was telling you guys about i don't know if they're gonna let me record in there i don't even know if they're gonna be open um the reason i haven't been in there before is because I'm off on Thursdays and Sundays and they're closed on Thursdays and Sundays being that today's Saturday they should technically be open it's um, about a quarter to 12 so I wouldn't see why they wouldn't be open um, and hopefully they let me record so we're about to uh, about to pull off to the, uh, the store right now and I, I'm kind of interested to see what they have inside there I'm gonna say based on all the items outside there's bicycles christmas stuff they are open 
So that's a good thing because all this stuff is not out there when they're closed. And they had a NES in the box last time I was here. And I called and he told me what he wanted for it. It was a little bit out of my range of what I wanted to spend. Look at these Ouija board <laughs> doormats. That's awesome. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and ask if he's okay if I record in there, if they have anything cool. A small toy section over here. Uh, Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Some movies. I'm gonna have to look through these. Okay, found some video games. Not sure if this is the video game section. Hope it's not just those three. Anthony Bourdain. Ghost of War. Ghost of War. Never heard of that. Alright guys, check these out. This is the most interesting things I've seen. This is a, a Game & Watch, apparently. I've never even seen one like this. It says Nintendo on it. It's hard to see, but you can see it on there. And this is the one you have on auction, right? You said? The Crash Rat we have up for auction. What's that one up to? Um, the auction right now. And then he's got another one here, too. Super Mario is probably the best one I got, too. Yeah, I've never seen this one. This one's weird. Check it out on price charting, what it's worth. Oh my god. Still got a sell. Like almost $450. Holy or 469 That's crazy. Has that been tested out? Um That's crazy, man. I've never seen anything like this. Wow. That is definitely the most awesome thing I've seen today. That is interesting. This is the crab grab game. And he's got it up on auction on eBay. We're gonna see what it's up to. It's got I think about a day left, he said. Uh two days. Right two now. days left. And, and you, you had it up there. And he's trying to find it again. Crab Grab. Said Ohio <laughs> Consignment on eBay. What a weird name for a game. I would never even thought of this as a game and watch. Like I would have, if I went to a yard sale, I probably would have overlooked this to be honest. They're kind of fun too. I've like, never played some of them. Already. Never seen it. So they're they're oh what happened again? I mean, oh there it is. Look at that. And what's it up to? Uh, 62 bucks. That's not bad. That's pretty Two reasonable. Two days and 19 hours. And it's on Cyber Monday. Wow. So Yeah, we're going to have to put this video up soon. So this way you guys can see it. But look at this. Come on, dude. Thank you for... Holy smokes. That is crazy. All right. So I'll give you $100 for this. <laughs> I wish I could. Yeah, I wish you could too, man. It's see-through. <laughs> like, is that how it's supposed to be? It's so weird. I'm going to have to look this up because I've never seen something like this before. All right, so he's got a couple DS games. He's a little light on games right now. He's got an Atari, which those are hard sells, but these uh, DS games, the Super Mario Brothers shouldn't be too hard to get rid of. The other the other ones are gonna be Tinkerbell. I don't think there's a big uh, desire for that game. That might be a little tougher, but the uh, new Super Mario Brothers, I think somebody will buy. Oh, wow, look at all these. He's pulling out the Atari games. The Atari games. The best video we... game ever made. Oh, you've just, the... oh, wow. How much is that? Oh, it's probably very cheap. That's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Too bad you don't have the box. No, right? Oh, the that's cool. Good to have, but that's awesome. This is a clean Atari. I mean, as far as I still come across them, this is a very clean one. Have you seen the Lego set of that? I just built yeah. the Lego set of that. Oh, it you was did? a very hard Lego set to put together, believe it or not. It's very cool, though. That's awesome, man. He's got some other games. Pitfall. I played Pitfall as a kid. I hated the Atari. Even as a little kid, we had this thing. I think this is the one we had. It looked just like this, and I hated that thing. <laughs> I was like, a, I don't know, five or six years old, and this system just, I'm sorry, it, it 
it sucked back then. I don't think I, I don't really get a lot for them ever. I think I feel like they don't really people don't really collect them like the other systems. No, it's just the gameplay is not fun, right? No, it's just not. It's not good. This game's this game's terrible. Oh no, <laughs> they you know they buried these in the desert. Yeah, right. You heard that heard whole that. story? Yeah, yeah. There's a yeah. whole story of that, and people went to the landfill. They actually found them. It's yeah. It's just yeah. It's just cool. That's awesome, man. Definitely some memories here. Let me guys, let me know, guys. Did you guys have one of these Atari's? And uh, do you guys have a better memory than I do of it? Because I hated it. All right, guys. I bought those gaming watches. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't have that kind of money. Thank you, Sal. Hey, All right, guys. The cool store. Did buy something. And I'll show you guys what I bought in a minute. And finally made it in here after all these years. Those doors are bright, huh? So look at this. This is cool. I think this is cool, man. I got E.T. for the Atari. I'm never going to play this, but I think this is going to look awesome on the shelf. Um, I'm going to see if I can find like a sleeve for the manual. And uh, he was asking $15 for us. I, I offered him 10 and he was like, ah, I don't know. And then I was like, okay, well, I said, I'll, go, I'll give you 10 if you want it. And, you know, I was kind of prepared to walk away. And then he's like, you know what? He goes, yeah, let's do it. I said, all right, cool. So 10 bucks for this for a game I'll never play. Probably the worst game game ever but uh yeah maybe one of you guys love this game i just love i love et pretty awesome and who doesn't love drew barrymore she's not in the game we got camo duck dave there keep me company giving me good luck today good vibes about to go on the throughway for our next stop this one's gonna be a little bit of a distance we made it to probably our last spot now it is a goodwill but it's not the goodwill that uh is local to me um, we're actually in Nanuet, Spring Valley area, and we're going to go to the Goodwill over here because, you know what, sometimes they have some decent stuff. The one by me, um, they're putting everything online. It's, it's really bad. So we'll check this one out and see if we can find anything. There's the white Go castle. past this light, then at the next one, make a U-turn. Goodwill, right next to White Castle. Just got to make a U-turn. So much traffic over here. And of course, <laughs> the GPS comes on as I'm recording the video. You know what? I'm going to leave it in there. I'm going to leave it in there because that's hilarious. I didn't know it would actually record it. I thought it would stop recording, but it actually, I went back to go play it and it actually records it to make the, uh, the left-hand turn, which is absolutely hilarious or the U-turn. Pretty, I think that's pretty funny. <laughs> You guys got the worst parking lot. I wouldn't even bother parking in that front section there. Definitely got to park in the side one. Let's see if there's any good games in there. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look too promising. Looking at movies here, found a movie I haven't seen in a long time. Copland, Stallone, De Niro, awesome movie. Put the guns in the Grand Union bag. All right, that's gonna about do it. Didn't find much in there. I kind of expected that. DVDs in there, Buck had $2 out ready to go. Guess they're running some kind of promotion, including tax, 64 cents. So not a bad deal. I'm walking. Where am I walking to? I feel like I'm craving something. Something special. You know, it just happens to be next door. <laughs> you can't say no. You really can't. We don't have White Castles very close to my home. This is over an hour away. So, <laughs> I gotta get one. Then we're gonna, then we're gonna end the video. All right, I think that's that's done. Got a uh, this is somehow a medium drink. I don't know how, and uh, just two. I almost called them whoppers. <laughs> two White Castle cheeseburgers. Guy in front of me ordered ten of them. He was by himself. I don't know if it was to go or what. I know they're small, but two is good for me. Came to less than seven bucks. What a deal! I'm gonna enjoy these. Well, that's gonna do it for today, folks. Cheers. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.